The South African Police Service and the National Prosecuting Authority are not ruling out more arrests in connection with the murder of former Bafana Bafana Captain Senzo Meiwa. Police Minister Begi Tele and National Commissioner Ketla Setole made the announcement of five arrests six years to the day after the crime was committed. And over the years, law enforcement agencies have faced criticism over the lack of progress in this case, with the public and the Meiwa family expressing disappointment in the criminal justice system. And to discuss this further, we join now by Zianda Stierman, who is a researcher at Afrobarometer. Uh, Zianda, thanks for your time and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Zianda, this case has uh, very much been kept alive in the media as well as the public. Uh, with these arrests uh, six years to the day after Senza Miyu was, was murdered, what does this say about the state not only of policing but of the criminal justice system overall in our country? Yeah, I mean, I think what this, what this case illustrates is that there's very little safety from violent crime in our country no matter who you are. Um, I think we all know that the wealthier you are, the more access you have to security systems and other mechanisms to keep you safe. But that doesn't mean that after something happens to you that there'll be capacity or willingness on the, on the part of the police to investigate and make arrests um, in your case. So I think in, in this sense, it really shows, um, or it really shakes our belief in the, in, the, in the fact that our police and our justice system can keep us safe. So, and, and, and that's a very important uh, point that you make there, because if someone as high profile as Senzo Mayiwa's case could drag on this long without even having people taken into custody uh, until yesterday, the general public surely uh, must have very little faith in the public criminal justice system. I, I think so. I think that, that there, um, there really is a belief that unless you are um, famous, unless the police are willing to really um, put in a lot of resources and manpower to, to investigate in your case and to finding justice. I think the ordinary South African, uh, you know, believes that unfortunately the police aren't, aren't going to be doing um, 100% capacity, you know, as to what they could do in terms of investigating cases. I think that there is a low uh, trust and belief um, that, our sister, that our police are able to um, perform their tasks of investigating crime. So looking at the Mayiwa case, um, you have uh, Senza Mayiwa murdered and he was this huge public figure in a country that is sport mad, in a country that is football mad. He happens to be uh, not only uh, the captain of one of the biggest clubs in the country and on the continent, but of our national team. And then you wait all these years for a breakthrough in this case. Do you believe that the entry of AFRI Forum in this particular case had anything to do with putting more pressure on the South African police services and uh, the criminal justice leadership to show progress in this case? Um, I, I mean, I think that, that AFRI Forum's involvement definitely um, did play a factor. Um, but I think in, in general, if there was any group um, or any outside group that had the resources that AfriForum uh, does, then I think that the same sort of level of, of attention would have been paid. Um, I think that there was just such public outrage um, as to what had happened. And again, it really was ordinary South Africans saying, you know, if, if somebody like Senzo Meiwa's uh, uh, killers can't be brought to justice, then what about me? What about me, the average person sitting at home? Um, you know, what, what does that say about the capacity of the police to do anything to stop crime? Um, so I, I definitely believe that Afri Forum's involvement had a, a, or played a role in this case. Um, but even Afri Forum itself wouldn't have taken on this case if it wasn't for the fact that Senza Mayua um, was so famous and was so beloved. Zianda, the minister spoke about the challenges uh, with this particular case. Um, uh, drawing from the state of policing in the country overall, would you think that, um, you know, something could have been done uh, to actually make this better, to have more concrete steps to solving this particular case? And if so, what could the police have done better in this instance? So this is a really interesting question because it it brings in the fact that the police, um, you know, again, because of public outrage, 
the police actually opened a cold case unit specifically to look at uh, Senzo Muiwa's case. Um, I think that this shows us, again, that once police are willing to put in the resources and the time and the manpower, that there are breakthroughs that can happen. Um, the breakthrough in this case was, uh, you know, obviously the arrest of, of um, uh, you know, of the, of the accused in this case, but also the fact that they found the murder weapon. Um, and that's good old fashioned police work. That's, you know, police work that is competent, that's professional, that's um, thorough. And that's exactly the type of change that we need to see across the board, um, you know, in the police service. Um, this return to, uh, you know, really thorough work that digs into what needs to be done, whether it's a cold case, whether it's, you know, a, a crime that's just recently happened and whether it's, it's of an ordinary person or a famous person um, and whether or not a group like Afri Forum got involved. Mm. And it would seem as though there's just so much that's happened over the past six years, as Advocate Harry now was saying, that it, it, this has led to this story having its own legend. Uh, because, as I like to say, nature doesn't allow for a vacuum. Uh, if one exists, people will fill in the blanks for themselves. So you've had all of these allegations and uh, there was some crucial evidence that apparently was overlooked. Uh, we know the late Sam Mayiwa sends us father, you know, spoke about this, spoke about giving um, information, concrete information to police. Uh, there are so many South Africans out there who could attest to people being released days after uh, they've been arrested for very serious crimes. Um, so what are some of uh, the major patterns that you think we are dealing with here, Zianda, when it comes to uh, police and uh, actually police doing their work in a way that uh, actually encourages some sort of integrity from the side of the public? Right. Um, I mean, I think, so one, one of the major issues um, that, that data from Af Afrobarometer has shown us is that between 2011 and 2018, public trust in the police has significantly weakened, whereas only about 17.5% of, of South Africans said that they do not trust the police at all um, in 2011. In 2018, that number shot up to 41%. Um, I think that really shows just how much uh, um, trust has been eroded in the police. And that's got to do with years of, you know, misfunction or, or dysfunction, years of corruption, years of, of unresponsiveness from the police. And those are all issues that are not easy to fix, but there has to be political will to fix it. Um, and, I, and I think this case does exactly that. It illustrates that, you know, again, once when there is good, professional, competent work done, the police can make a breakthrough. And so we need to start seeing more and more of that on an individual day to day basis. Uh, just fine, Zianda, you say these issues are not easy to fix. Are they fixable at all? I think that they are. I think that that there is a possibility to turn to turn this around. Um, again, our data has shown that consistently between uh, 2011 and 2018, at least half of South Africans trust the police somewhat. So there isn't a belief that we've given up on the police. I think it's, it's you know, the, the, the question of have they actually exhausted all possible opportunities to, uh, to train themselves, to better resource themselves, to hold themselves accountable where there is police misconduct, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just don't think that we've seen... Uh, or as South Africans that we've seen a real push to to uh, make uh, make reform systematic and and why uh, and wide enough within the police to affect change. Well, Zianda, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much, uh, Zianda Stierman from Afrobarometer, talking to us about the state of crime and policing in the country following the arrest uh, made yesterday, six years after the death of Senzo Meiwa.